Well, hello, welcome to I Love Gay Today. And we are in West Hollywood today. And we are with here with Paula Kukas. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Very good. When I was when I was doing a little research, I realized we're the exact same age. Well, roughly within the same. <laughs> but we won't, really? we, won't say, we won't say what that number is, though. We'll just leave okay. we'll leave the audience guessing. That's good. But um, <laughs> but no, you've you've been in the you've been in the music world for for many years, and that's how when I was when I was uh Look, finding you online, I noticed you came. You had a song back in the eighties that uh, only only those of us that are a little older might even know. But it was called Boom Boom, and it was uh, it wasn't as big of a hit here, but I mean, it was a big hit in Australia and so forth. But yeah, tell us a little about that. Yeah, it was um, actually it was a pretty good dance hit here. It wasn't as big as a pop hit um, in the states, but it was a really big dance hit. I toured a lot all over the United States and a lot of nightclubs. Okay. Um, but it was number one in Japan and number one in Australia. I think number twelve in New Zealand, and it was kind of like um, you know licensed all over all over the world. So you know everybody has their own chart action all over the world. So <laughs> exactly, yeah. It was in uh, nineteen eighty six. I recorded it, and it was on the charts in nineteen eighty seven. Wow. And then fast forward to today, and you've come out with a new one, Rainbow. And uh, I noticed you call it a gay pride anthem for 2023. Yes. I, you know, I've always wanted to write a gay anthem, and it just never kind of came to me. But um, I was writing another song with my writing partner, Scott Anderson, at Solar City Music. And Rainbow was like the second song that I wrote really quick, because, you know, uh, when I write, it kind of comes in fl- ebbs and flows, you know, over the years. Yeah. So he's like, well, let's finish this first song. And I was just like, well, but I think this one's stronger, you know, because I kept seeing rainbows. I saw a rainbow in the sky. I saw a rainbow on my chair. I do this little exercise where you do this rainbow leg. And I'm like, yeah. the universe is trying to tell me something. So I wrote the song and it was all about, you know, like the feelings you have on Gay Pride Day, you know, yeah, yeah. festival and, you know, the fun I love that. Are you planning to uh, bring it out to any gay prides this uh, this year? Probably. I don't tour a lot these days, but I'd like to do four or five shows. I mean, that would be perfect for me, actually. Well, especially you're up in L.A. You're in West Hollywood, right? Yep. I'm in West Hollywood, um, but I do kind of go to the desert a lot. Ah, uh, yeah. But that I was just thinking, because I know the West Hollywood uh, L.A. Pride, it seems to have become much more music music oriented over the last few years. So. Oh, yeah. They just switched it this year, uh, last year, um, to separate it. There's the West Hollywood Gay Pride, and then there's the L.A. Gay Pride. Um, okay. so we got two of them. So there's a <laughs> music festival. Yeah, it's more directed toward music for the uh, festival part. And then the festival is kind of like free over on the side. Yeah. Music is like separate now. Yeah. Okay. You know, in between uh, back in the 86 when you had Boom Boom and then, and then today, but uh, uh, what have you been up to? I mean, you've been, I noticed, I noticed you did some film and acting and theater and so forth, but uh, has that been keeping you busy in between? Yeah. Like, you know, God, it's such a long time span. Um, there were t- <laughs> well, there were times when I was concentrating on acting and I went to school yeah. and I did a few films and I was, it's like, okay, if they hire me for a stripper one more time, I just didn't want to push through that. And I was just kind of uh, going, okay, let me just focus on something else. Yeah. As I said before, like, you know, I really enjoy being a civilian as much as I enjoy being an artist. So for me, like when I look at like people like Adele and I'm like, I like her schedule. <laughs> you know, one song every, you know, one, one piece of music every five years. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, that's, I could do that. Yep, exactly. Well, I do for- write in between a lot, you know, so it just, yeah. you know. Nice. Well, I look forward to all this because I, uh, from LA and uh, I don't live there now, uh, moved to the other coast, but uh, I come back all the time. And in fact, I, I might even be there uh, around Pride because my, my husband's got, he's doing the eighth life cycle ride and it's in June as well. Oh, that's right. That's yes. right. That's right. So I might be out that way, and and if you are performing, we might might have a chance to connect in the real world. Yeah, yeah or somewhere else along the United States. You know, there's a lot of you know we travel a lot, right? <laughs> oh, exactly. But no, I really, I just uh, really appreciate because uh, I know some folks probably are you know that are introduced to you. They may not know what you've been up to, and uh, and uh, and we'll make sure also to have links to some of the other interviews and things that you've had here over the last uh, over the last few months as well. In the when we post this online, awesome. 
Yeah. Cool. But no, I really appreciate you being able to take some time and share a bit of your story here with our audience. Yeah. You know, I checked you out online. I love all your stuff that you're doing. And, you know, this is rainbows all about gay pride and gay people and, you know, yeah. fun and joy and great music. And so, yeah, oh, I love you. it. You know, it's a connect. Yep. Same here. Well, thanks again for being here. Thanks. 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 Thanks.